All right, let me take it from the top. Uh, the word of the Lord, this is from Ezekiel, Ezekiel chapter 28 and verse 1. The word of the Most High came unto me, saying, Son of man, say unto the prince of Tyrus, reference to Edom, Thus, th thus saith the Most High Yahweh, because thine heart is lifted up, and thou hast said, I am a God, I sit in the seat of God, in the midst of the seas, seas meaning the, the people, the nations, yet thou art a man and not a God, though thou set thine heart as the heart of God, right? Um, anytime you think of, in this society, you think of God, right? You think of, of a vision of an, Edom, uh, an Edomite, right? Um, you know, long blonde hair, uh, you know, sitting in the clouds, um, right? Because they painted themselves as, as God. Same thing with the Messiah, right? Uh, behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. There's no secret that they can hide from thee, right? A reference to their status as the Lucifer, the light bearer of this world. But the light and the wisdom of the Edomites is, is darkness, with thy wisdom and with thine understanding, thou hast gotten thee riches and hast gotten gold and silver into thy treasures. Um, the science, right? The knowledge. Um, they've used that to elevate um, themselves. By thy great wisdom and by thy traffic, thou hast increased thy riches and thine heart is lifted up because of thy riches, their, their great pride. Therefore, thus saith the Most High Yahweh, because thou hast set thine heart as the heart of God, behold, therefore I will bring strangers unto thee, the terrible nations, and they shall draw their swords against thy beauty of thy wisdom, and they shall defile thy brightness. So the other nations are coming for Edom uh, in the end times. They shall bring thee down to the pit, and thou shalt die the deaths of them that are slain in the midst of the seas. Wilt thou yet say before him that slayeth thee, I am God? But thou shalt be a man, and no God, in the hand of him that slayeth thee. Thou shalt die the deaths of the uncircumcised by the hand of strangers, for I have spoken it, saith the Most High, Yahweh. Um, Edom is done. Um, the only nation that's going to continue on uh, forever and be immortals is the nation of Israel, and that being led by uh, the Messiah, Yahushai, and underneath him is King David, and underneath him is 144,000. And this is prophesied in uh, the book of Samuel. Um, this is the prophet Nathan speaking unto David. And thine house and thine kingdom shall be established forever, before thee, thy throne shall be established forever, the throne of David. According to all these words and according to all this vision, so did Nathan speak unto David. Um, a lot of great prophecy that comes out of the um, uh, the two books of Samuel by the prophet uh, Nathan, among, among others. Um, so... Going back to the magnetic pole flip, um, it's rapidly moving. So here's a couple of headlines. Um, Earth's north magnetic pole is heading towards Siberia, and we now know why. Uh, last magnetic pole reversal persisted 22,000 years, and that's pretty terrifying. You see, every point there's like a different, there's a change in the numbers. You, you might, you know, they have no, they have no clue. Um, every other month they'll say a new narrative just to kind of justify or to continue to perpetuate their deception and their appearance as if they know what's going on. Um, Earth's north magnetic pole is migrating away from Canada towards Siberia, and geologists don't know why. <laughs> oh, geez. Um, the Earth's magnetic poles are not about to flip, question mark. South, here's an anomaly. Um, poles are shifting, magnetic field is flipping. Uh, poles drifting at an unprecedented speed. Earth's magnetic field 
world is about to collapse. You know, all, you just look at the different dates and you just see like every other every other month they're publishing something else that contradicts what they said last. But there's going to be a point where like the veil and the lies are going to all fall away and it's going to be very obvious what's happening. Um, and that they are, they're finished. Um, well, let's see. Um, this article, Earth's magnetic pole is heading towards Siberia and we now know why. Um, between 19... 90 and 2005 the rate of this movement has accelerated from less than 15 kilometers per year to 50 to 60 kilometers per year so it's very rapidly happening uh, and increasingly so a new study argues the changes could be explained by the toing and froing between two magnetic blobs of molten material in the planet's interior causing a titanic shift of its magnetic field uh, and these are some of the this is some of the result of that shift. Um, this article came out yesterday. There is nowhere to run and nowhere to hide. Three volcanoes simul three three volcanoes simultaneously erupt in Guatemala. So we've see we are seeing and experiencing now unprecedented uh, volcanic activity, um, earthquakes, uh, among other things. Um, Whole communities that live in the shadow of three volcanoes currently erupting in Guatemala with more than 180,000 people around Volcán de Fuego. And when they explode, there's nowhere to run and nowhere to hide. And what a lot of people are don't realize, what they're starting to realize, is the Earth sits on several super... Uh, sorry, the Earth. The United States sits on several super volcanoes. Here's a smattering of headlines. A new super volcano is brewing under Massachusetts and Vermont. Supervolcano in Utah, massive ancient volcano discovered. Um, supervolcanoes around the world, supervolcanoes in the United States. There are several supervolcano sites in the United States, all in the western half of the country. Yellowstone in Wyoming and Montana is the most famous and potentially dangerous since its magma pockets have been filling since the last eruption. Um, they're not all in the western half of the country. The Edomites don't know. Uh, we just saw an article here that says a super volcano is brewing under Massachusetts and Vermont, so New England, beneath Yellowstone, a volcano that could wipe out the U.S. Just one of these volcanoes, an eruption, could destroy the U.S. The three U.S. super volcanoes that can destroy the world. Uh, what are the three super volcanoes in the U.S. that can absolutely wreak havoc if they were to erupt? The Yellowstone Caldera. The last eruption was 240. 224,000 times larger than the eruption of Mount St. Helens. If Yellowstone were to erupt, it would trigger the most. It would trigger most of the active volcanoes in the world and a storm of earthquakes. Uh, does it all kind of make sense? Um, what is going to happen? Uh, and that's going to turn this place. Uh, among other reasons, into uh, a lake of fire. And this is prophesied in the book of Revelation, Revelation 19 and 20. And the beast, which is a reference to um, the uh, kingdom of the Edomite, um, the beast being NATO and the EU, um, that conglomerate of Edomite countries, um, and the beast was taken and with him, the false prophet that wrought miracles before him, um, with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast, um, the microchip, the RFID microchip, don't take it, and them that worshipped his image, um, his culture, his system of government, um, his false religions, um all of all of that uh these both were cast alive into the lake of fire burning with brimstone um and so babylon the great um america 
is going to be turned into a lake of fire, and the volcanoes are going to be contributing to that. Um, destruction by nuclear missiles as well, um, but that I think is a prophecy for uh, another another time. And the false prophet, of course, being a reference to the Vatican. So I will end it there. Shalom.